हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ प्रतीक कदम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी के के आर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन सब्जेक्ट डिजाइन एनालिस फलगरदम एंड आर टू डेज टॉपिक इज ब्रुट फोर्स मैथड सो द लर्निंग आउटकम्स ऑफ आर टू डेज वीडियो इज बाई द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यूल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक्स ऑफ ब्रुट फोर्स मैथड यूल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन ब्रुट फोर्स मैथड विद रियल लाइफ एग्जाम्पल्स you'll also understand what exactly is the enfin's problems and you'll also be able to solve enfin's problem using brute force method so let's start with our topic so what exactly is a brute force method so a brute force is an intuitive direct and straightforward technique of problem solving in which all possible solutions of a given problem are enumerated we solve many problems in our daily life using brute force strategy for example exploring all paths to a nearby market to find the shortest path or it may be arranging a books in a rack using all possibilities to optimize the rack space in fact many of our daily activities use algorithms that are brute force in nature even though the optimal algorithms are also possible so let us see the exact definition of brute force algorithm so brute force algorithms are exactly what they sound like straightforward methods of solving problem that rely on sheer computing power and trying every possibility rather than advanced techniques to improve efficiency you can see in this animation that this is a sudoku puzzle what exactly we do is we try we keep on trying n number of possibilities unless we find the exact position and we keep on doing it unless we can fill the entire sudoku so to understand this brute force method let us see two examples so our first example is a suitcase problem Let us suppose we have a suitcase that can be opened using only a three-digit password. For simplicity, let us assume that only digits have been used as a password. So now, let us see if a situation arises such that the password for opening the suitcase has been forgotten. Then how can we solve this problem? So normally, the best possible solution in this case would be we keep on trying all possibilities. We start with zero zero zero. we check whether that lock is opening which then start with 001 then it goes on until 998 and 999 so you can see that total we have 1000 combinations so we keep on trying all these combinations and any one of these combinations which is actually the password of the suitcase will work for us so i hope now you are getting a little bit about what exactly is a brute force method to explain again in short so we are trying all possible combinations as a password for that suitcase in a hope that out of all possible combination one of it will work and the suitcase will open now let us see the second example the second example is about about the perfect divisor problem so what exactly is a divisor so one can say x divides y if there exists an integer k such that the product of x and k equals to y that is x into k equal to y so let us say you want to find what are the divisors of 10 so you all know that divisors of 10 would be 1 2 5 right and 10 itself so let us see how we can solve this problem if it is given to you so now let us see we have n equals to 6 here so what we can do is we can try all possible combinations from starting with 1 up to n so we check whether 6 mod 1 equal to 0 so yes it is 0 we check for 6 mod 2 equal equal to 0 so yes it is 0 we check for 6 mod 3 whether it is equal equal to 0 so yet it is 0 we check for 6 mod 4 so it is not equal to 0 we check for 6 mod 5 so it is not equal to 0 and finally we check for 6 mod 6 which is equal to 0 so we try from 1 up till n and in this case my n is 6 so again if you see i'm trying all possible combinations and i'm just checking among the given combinations which are the divisor of a given number so again here also we are trying to apply the brute force method i hope now we have understood how in real life we are applying brute force method to solve the problems so now let us see a problem which is related to our subject that is the sequential search a sequential search problem is also called as a linear search problem searching is a common day activity for all of us consider the amount of time we spent searching the house keys books the meaning of certain word in a dictionary etc searching in computing terms is always specific and is often time bound one cannot afford to a search that takes an infinite amount of time so let us see this example which you can see on the screen so this is a linear search example let us say you want to search whether the given array has the number 33 so what we do is we start from the first position and we 
keep on checking whether that number 33 is present at first position if it is not we go ahead if it is we check it in the second location if it is not present we go ahead and we keep on moving unless we find whether that particular number is a part of that array if we find then we just see that the number is found at the certain location and if it is not does not found we just give a message that the that certain number is not present in that array so again if you can see here we are checking each and every possible position of an array to check whether that particular number is present in that array so this is again a brute force method so now that you have understood what exactly is the brute force method let us see what are the advantages and the disadvantages of the brute force method so first let's see the advantages so one of the most important advantage is that it it gives you the guaranteed solution as you are exploring each and every possible sol solution and checking whether that solution applies to that particular problem it is definitely that you will be getting a solution the next major advantage is that it is a very generic method so you, it's not like a rocket science and you have to do a lot of calculations or anything so you just keep on uh, checking all the possible combinations and you get uh, any of that combination if that matches with that particular solution then you get the solution so basically your brute force method is ideal for small and simple problems because we can just imagine that let's say that your password is of 10 digits so in that case it is around let's say if there are only digits so it goes around 10 raised to 10 times so you can just imagine like once the problem size increases so exponentially the number of computation also increases that is the reason why your brute force method is only ideal for small and simple problems again one of the most advantages part of the brute force method that it is very easy to implement and also it serves as a comparison benchmark normally in your IT world you would hardly see that people will, would be using brute force method because you want your application to be time efficient and it should give a quick response so we cannot use brute force method but yes whatever algorithms you are designing or whatever algorithms you are using and if you are a researcher and if you are finding out any new algorithm you can also consider you can always consider a brute force method as a benchmark for comparison of your algorithm with the brute force method now let us see few disadvantages so it is inefficient for the real time problem because in your real life you could have number of possibilities and it is very hard that you try for each and every possibilities it could be very time consuming yeah other major flaw with the brute force method is it relies on the computing power of the system so depending upon how rich your system is in terms of computing power then then only that brute force method is possible the next is it is very slow in nature as i've told you like for a password with the length 10 you will require to do it for 10 raised to 10 times and let's say for each time you require one second so you can just imagine 10 raised to 10 seconds it could consume a lot of time and yes as i've told you it is very generic so it is not constructive and creative okay so now that you have understood what is the brute force method now let us see the nq's problem so before we actually see how we can apply the brute force method on nq's problem first let us understand what exactly is the nq's problem so I'll just read out the problem statement. Given a chessboard having n by n cells, we need to place n queens in such a way that no queen is attacked by the other queen. A queen in a chessboard can attack horizontally, vertically, and diagonally. So this is one of the example of 4 by 4 chessboard. You can see your your Q represents the queen. Yes, you can see that if you know how queen works in a chessboard, the queens are placed in such a way that they won't be attacking any other queen so if you see this queen it can go this way it can go this way it can go diagonally this way and it can go diagonally this way and you can see it is not attacking any other queen similarly you can check the other queens and you will find that none of the queens are attacking each other if you are new to the chess i will just explain you how the queen works so if i am placing the queen here it can go in eight directions here upwards downwards sideways and diagonally so now let us see how we can solve a 4 pin problem using a brute force method. So firstly you can see that my first combination would be q1, q2, q3 serially present there. This is my first combination with the brute force method and you can see that the queens are attacking each other so this is not my solution. The second combination would be I will be changing the position of q4 to the next step keeping my first 3 queen as it is. Again this combination won't work because you have q1, q4 and q2 are attacking each other same again in third combination i'll change the position of q4 and this you will keep on doing it and the 14th combination you will see that your q4 comes to the last position and still your queens are attacking each other then 
the next step you will be doing is you will be changing the position of q3 so i'm changing the position of q3 and putting q4 again they are attacking each other you'll keep on doing this and finally you'll come to this particular combination which wherein the queens are not attacking each other and this is my final solution so now let us see one university question that is normally asked in your examination so the question goes like this so kind of configuration is 6 4 7 1 for 8 queens problem and you need to find the answer to it so this is the 8 by 8 chessboard and as per the current configuration you can see that I have placed my first queen on 6th position, 2nd queen on the 4th position, 3rd queen in the 3rd row 7th position and the 4th queen on the 4th row 1st position. So this is my initial configuration and I need to uh, put the queen in the remaining 4 rows such that they won't attack each other. right? So how you can solve it? So either you can solve it step by step by writing each and every step or else the best way to solve it using just write a table in such a form wherein this represents the column and this is the row of the queen position and this is what action we are taking. So 6, 4, 7, 1 is my initial configuration you can see which is already given in the question. So now with the brute force method what I do is I start putting the first uh, the queen in the first location but you can see that in the first location I am having a conflict the reason is because already a queen is placed in the first column. So I just write in the action column 1 already occupied. So I try to put it on the second location. If I try to put it in second location, you can see that this queen would be attacking me diagonally. So that is the reason again we have a conflict. So I move it to the third position. On the third position, you can see that there is no more conflict. So I am placing the queen here, queen here and I am moving to the next row. So in the next row, again what I am doing is I am trying to put it in the first location. So again at the first location, this queen is attacking. If I try to put it in the second location, you can see that the diagonally uh, it would be attacking the queen which I placed earlier. So that is the reason I move forward and we I keep on going forward and finally at the fifth location you can see that uh, I'll be able to place the queen here, right? So there is no conflict, I'm placing the queen. Again for the seventh row, I'll place it at the first position, there's a conflict, I put it on second location, there's no conflict, so I'm placing the queen here and finally on the last eighth row, I'll place it at the eight location and there there is no conflict so finally i have placed all the eight queens in the given configuration so my final answer to would be six four seven one three five two eight so i hope that you have understood how to solve eight queens problem or any n queens problem using the brute force method so this is the homework question for you so question goes like current configuration is four six eight two for eight queens problem and you need to find the answer to so i request you to please solve it and give your answer in the comment box so thank you for your patience listening. If you have any doubts or any queries, you can put it in the comment box. Thank you once again. Have a great day.